Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to give you guys some initial impressions of the Dell Inspiron 15R. Now this notebook has been on the market for almost a year now, and is extraordinarily popular because it pretty much can be thrown at just about any user and be productive. It is their value notebook, a 15.6 inch display. You're looking right now at a zoomed in shot of that display. It's Dell's uh, True Life 720p LED backlit display and I wanted to show you guys what's under the hood. So of course we're looking at a Dell laptop. Uh, the model is the N5110 that is the latest revision of the Inspiron 15R in the United States. 5.9 Windows uh, index score there. That's because it did default to the lowest score as usual which was the hard disk drive but still a very good score for a value uh, notebook no question. A Intel uh, Core i5, this is a second gen, uh, gen Sandy Bridge processor, 2430, 2.4 GHz clock speed, Turbo Boost will take it up to 3 GHz. You're looking at 6 gigs of RAM pre-installed in this configuration at least, and of course Windows 7 Home Premium. Now this pre-config uh, system does not have any dedicated uh, graphics capability, so it is relying on the Intel chipset. Of course you often will have the option, I believe there is one configuration right now in the lineup that does offer an AMD solution. But on the whole, I would not recommend the system for gaming. Again, this is an all-purpose value notebook for basically any home user that wants to do anything from simple computing to possibly video editing. Now let me go ahead and zoom out, show you guys the actual bezel. It is a high uh, gloss piano black finish. You do have uh, a webcam here in the center, as well as some Inspiron branding and SRS Premium sound branding here, and of course the Dell logo. Uh, not a big fan of the piano black uh, gloss finish, but it's certainly from a style standpoint, nothing wrong with the aesthetic. It looks good, uh, but it is going to be a fingerprint magnet, no question about it. But the screen so far looks good. You know, we've even, of course, got some supports on the left and right side to make sure that you know the laptop doesn't uh, fall prey to the no notorious uh, old MacBook flaw of cracking the palm rest because this entire machine is made out of plastic by the way let me go ahead and pan down to the actual keyboard so you guys can get a look at what is probably the most key popular keyboard on the market right now if you are a fan of the 15R then you know that this is not the same keyboard you've seen in the past so the N5110 does have a different keyboard in that it is island style now. It does have that, again, piano black gloss uh, finish underlay to match the screen. Stylistically, a nice touch. It does have metallic accents. This is all plastic. Again, no fingerprint magnet here. This plastic uh, smooth textured, uh, textured palm rest, which also extends over the uh, touchpad, is really nice and uh, certainly feels solid. And no fingerprints, really. So interesting that... Of course, the uh, bezel of the display is a fingerprint magnet in contrast, but not a big deal. You're not going to be touching that too much. Your hands will be all over this, of course. Keyboard, really comfortable. Of course, dedicated function keys. Your power button is illuminated up here, so that's nice. No LED backlighting available uh, in the pre-config options that I saw for the Inspiron, Inspiron 15R right now. Some uh, hotkeys uh, that Dell has put up there dedicated in the upper right corner for settings and other functions. And pretty much, you know, just a nice layout, really roomy. They utilize that extra space for the numeric keypad, something you won't find on the XPS uh, 15 line. So definitely a lot more elements here that benefit the home user than the gamer or power user. But this machine is powerful. Don't kid yourself. The Core i5 second gen Sandy Bridge is certainly a very capable processor. So... Now that I've shown you guys the, uh, the touchpad, the keyboard, the screen, let me go ahead and show you the balance of the build. Let me close up the notebook. Uh, as you can see, the top lid is plastic. Again, same uh, texture and finish as the palm rest. Also not a fingerprint magnet, so that's a good thing, uh, despite the reverse side being that high uh, gloss black. Really do like the design on this notebook. Very similar to the XPS 15, which you guys will see right now but obviously doesn't have the same quality of build, but still really solid and a lot of computer for a starting price of $500 and up, depending on your configuration. So you're looking at the front end, you've got your two uh, SRS uh, premium stereo speakers there, as well as your LED notification lights, which on the XPS line are found on the back of the machine. As you can see, we've got power, um, uh, hard drive, as well as battery and Wi-Fi connectivity. Then on the left side of the machine, we've got our memory 
uh, card slot as well as an, uh, an eSATA port that's also double or rather also doubles as a USB port our HDMI out some ventilation as well as another USB port that is not a 3.0 port but there are two on this machine which I'll show you guys in a moment the power uh, port of course VGA out your six cell battery is right there there is also a nine cell option available you then have uh, your USB 3.0 port you can see that because it is colored blue the blue coloration does indicate USB 3.0 compatibility of course it is backwards compatible in case you're curious and then it also has of course an Ethernet port as well as your Kensington lock another USB 3.0 port on the back right side your microphone port headphone port your optical drive which can be configured uh, with a blu-ray drive if you do uh, desire that and that's pretty much it folks so you know on the whole a uh, nice machine it does weigh in at over six pounds we'll see what battery life is like and it's certainly in my opinion you know one of the better values out there and that's one of the reasons that Dell uh, does really well with this product look forward to giving you guys full in-depth uh, impressions and giving you you know a digitally digested segment as usual I like what I see if you guys have any questions or comments please feel free to post them and of course as usual please feel free to subscribe later